Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another micro class. This one's on starting line. It's inspired by Spartan Fit by Joe DeSena with John Durant. Technically, we want to get to the starting line. Chapter number one in the book is get to the starting line. The slogan, the tagline for Spartan Race is you'll know at the finish line, but guess what? The hard part is getting to the starting line. He says, once you get to the starting line, this part's actually pretty easy. The hard part is getting to the starting line. And that requires a couple of things. One, it requires the belief that you can actually do it, which is another key part of the book. He shares some incredibly inspiring and, and uh, kind of freaky out with people's intensity uh, stories. But he says, look, very importantly, you can do this. You got to believe that you can do it in order to even sign up for the race. And we're you know, talking about Spartan race, but you can talk about it metaphorically as a race. What in your life is important to you? What would you do if you weren't afraid? Eh, oh, and I do that too, and that too, and that too. Cool, well, guess what? Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You've gotta, get this, you gotta make the commitment of, I'm gonna go for it, and then get to the starting line for that race. A couple of things on the you can do it front. In Spartan Up, we talked about the guy who rode his bike ridiculous, right? This is a guy obviously riding his bike, right? Uh, from Sweden to the Himalayas, base of, base of Mount Everest, ascended it without oxygen, without a Sherpa, came back down and rode his bike back to Sweden. DeSena says, that's, that's really, really hard and it's crazy, but it's not impossible. There's a big difference between difficult and impossible. And are you telling yourself something's impossible and it's really just difficult and you don't feel like trying that hard? His seven-year-old son ran the New York City Marathon. That's nuts. Unofficially the youngest person ever to do it. His four or five-year-old daughter inspired me to do 300 burpees when I wondered if I could or wanted to do it. When she, he wrote about the fact that she banged out 300 burpees in a row at like four or five years old. That's nuts. These people can do it, we can do it. So the question is, what is it that you really, really want to do? And then we need to get ourselves to that starting line. One of the ideas that he talks about in the book is the fact that in his interviews of, of great people, they often almost always come back to the importance of morning routines. You got to start your day strong. So when you have a big goal that inspires you, then you got to make it easy for you to show up and make masterpiece days again and again and again. One of the things that I do that I share in the note is every single month, I set up a little monthly calendar on my wall, huge thing, right? And every day has certain things that I do. Right, we'll link to the video where I share how I create masterpiece miracle uh, months. Right, AM one, AM two, PM one, PM two. Right, I've got all these different things. I've got different things over here, and then I write down one ten, a hundred, one ten, a hundred, a thousand, and ten thousand, which fits in my little daily thing. Right, and every night I go to bed. One of my things is digital sunset, so I check out that box, digital sunset, go to bed early, and then I wake up early. I meditate for 20 minutes, and then I do five minutes of a super simple opening yoga stretching series, and I end that with one sun salutation. Now, my commitment every day is to do one sun salutation, 10 pull-ups, 100 burpees, uh, 1,000 meters of rowing, and 10,000 steps. When I do my first sun salutation for the day, I cruise over to my big wall calendar and I write a big X on it. And then right above it, I put a smiley face. And I say to myself, that was the hardest thing I'm gonna do today. I started today strong. I have got to the starting line. This is my big goal on why I'm so committed to showing up fresh for race day and today's another race. And I literally celebrate it. It's this almost silly thing. But every single day, X, big smiley face, boom, done, I'm ready. The rest of the day is easy. That was the hardest part. We've got to know that the hardest part is getting to the starting line. So figure out what you're passionate about and figure out what you're going to do on a consistent basis and then get there day in and day out and bring that big vision to life baby step by baby step. Get to the starting line and you'll know at the finish line. Isn't it a bit odd that we went from math to science to history, but somehow missed the class on how to live? For some wacky reason, Optimal Living 101 never made the schedule. Of course, it's too late to go back and change that, and you're too busy to read full time to catch up. 
Yet, if you're like us, you're all about optimizing your life and actualizing your potential. So imagine this. Imagine having someone read the best books on optimal living and pulling out the big ideas that can truly change your life. You know, those sections you asterisk and underline and mark all up. Then imagine that guy, me, connecting those ideas to other great books and helping you apply them to your life today. Well, that's what I do with something we call Philosopher's Notes, where I break down each great book into a simple six-page PDF, 20-minute MP3, and 10-minute Philosopher's Notes TV episode. Then imagine me taking the absolute best big ideas from those great books and sharing them with you in fun, inspiring, super practical, optimal living 101 classes. On stuff like Purpose 101, Confidence 101, Business 101, Meditation 101, that sort of thing. You've got a personal trainer? I'm kind of like your personal philosopher. Ancient wisdom plus modern science plus common sense plus virtue plus mastery plus fun. That's what our optimized membership program is all about. We'd love to have you join us. Check us out at brianjohnson.me slash join.